Chapter 229, Empress Hongtian, 1. Are there any underworld boats that can increase my lifespan even more in this coming event? In the end, the voice inside the wooden coffin rang again and no longer discussed the matter of a Tetra War Bronze Chariot. According to our agreement, I can only increase your lifespan by 500 years at best. Once you come out of the underworld boat, you will be able to rest in the hidden immortal hall for countless more moons. Li Kai slowly said. The voice in the coffin appeared again and said, 500 years still has its limitation in the end. There will be a day where the air blood stone will no longer be able to cover me. The person inside the coffin had lived for countless years. With a war god temple strength, they had plenty of air blood stones. However, even with a sufficient quantity, there will be a day when the air blood stones lose their effect. An existence of this level only wanted to remain alive in order to continue his mission of protecting the war god temple. During the infinite stretch of the river of time, there will absolutely be a time where the war god temple would need him to come into being. The price of coming out from the air blood stone was extremely expensive but nevertheless necessary. There is no immortality. Li Kai shook his head and continued, even for immortal emperors shouldering the heavens when ruling the universe, although they are christened as heavenly beings, they still have not seen immortality. War God Mu living for another generation was already unbelievable and could even be called a miracle since the beginning of time. However, all will come to an end while flowing down the river of time. 500 years is enough for you to be covered in dust for many, many more years. There might not be an underworld boat that can give another lifetime in this generation. However, there has to be one that gives more years. The person in the coffin clearly did not give up and added, if I can be buried in a longer lifespan underworld boat, our war god temple is willing to pay a huge price. In each generation, there will not be more than three underworld boats that are able to strengthen one's fate and longevity. In this coming event, I'm afraid there is not one that will give another generation of life. However, there is absolutely one that exceeds 500 years. Li Kai looked at the coffin and eventually stated, however, Middle Continent Princess has already chosen this boat. If you have heard of her tales, I trust that you would not want to compete with her. Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom during the Tian II Annihilation Age. After a long pause, the voice in the coffin appeared again with a much more serious tone. Since the beginning till now, there has only been one who called themselves the Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom. Li Kai leisurely smiled and answered. The person in the coffin contemplated for a while before eventually asking, since there has been one boat that gave another generation in this world, when do you think another one will appear? You make it sound as if it was such an easy matter to have an underworld boat granting another lifetime. This was a miracle, yet you are still inquiring about another one. I'm afraid only hell would know the answer. Li Kai smiled as he shook his head. In my opinion, even the war god Mu was able to live for another era. You should let go of this thought. This is essentially an impossible matter. And even if there is another one that can grant another lifetime, I'm afraid you won't be able to seize it. Such a boat would absolutely first be seized by the person hanging on the sky-reaching peak of the heavenly ancient corpse burial ground. That existence is still alive. The person inside the coffin exclaimed after hearing these words. He couldn't help but become astonished. Even if he had lived for countless years and had heard of this legend, the world had always assumed that it was only a legend when, in fact, it was the truth. He is living very well. However, without going on an underworld boat, it is practically impossible for him to leave the heavenly ancient corpse burial ground. If there was an actual boat that granted another lifetime flying out from the underworld river, do you think that you can win it over him? Li Kai smilingly spoke. Li Kai's words left the person in the coffin in silent contemplation. Even an invincible existence like him would be speechless against that legendary existence. Let us talk about business. Li Kai eventually said, I will pick your boat. Boarding it is your issue. You should make good preparations to get on it. Don't blame me if you cannot get on it. You can rest assured that boarding will not be an issue so long as you pick the right boat. A voice came from the coffin with absolute confidence. Li Kai only shrugged and didn't say anything else. Then, he turned around and left. He didn't want to continue staying with a bunch of stubborn and conservative old men. This kid is too arrogant. After Li Kai left, an old man sitting on the ground couldn't help but speak. The voice in the coffin appeared again to say, Don't provoke him. He is not someone who is ignorantly arrogant. Him daring to act like that means that he has the abilities to do so. Having heard his forefather's warning, even someone with an amazing status like this old man shuddered as he retracted his audacious intentions. Forefather, if there is an underworld boat better than 500 years, can't we think about it a little bit? An ancestor couldn't help but ask, don't go competing with Middle Continent Princess, that would just be asking for trouble. We will pick the 500 years underworld boat. The voice in the coffin replied, the elders of the war god temple couldn't help but become surprised after hearing their forefather's words. One had to know that their forefather could be called invincible. So what was the background of this Middle Continent Princess? The Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom. An ancestor murmured this name before becoming shocked and exclaimed, The Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom from the Desolus Expansion Era. Legend has it that before Tian II became an immortal emperor, the Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom had the highest chance of defeating his lineage. In the end, the Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom chose to join Tian II's banner instead. The Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom chose their own demise. The voice inside the coffin continued on. They assumed that after helping Tian II become an immortal emperor, they would then become the most meritorious vassals. Little did they know that the day when Tian Tu unified the heaven and earth would be the date of demise for their Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom. The old man knew that the origin of the Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom was in dismay because legend has it that the Middle Continent Ancient Kingdom's background was no weaker than that of their war god temple. The Ancient Kingdom was an unparalleled giant during that era in the mortal emperor world. The scene suddenly became quiet with everyone staying silent for a long time. After leaving the war god temple's camp, 
Li Kai went to the Nine Saint Demon Gate space. Kai Yun had already settled Li Xuang Yin and Chen Bei Jiao in. Both of them took a sigh of relief after seeing Li Kai's return, especially Li Xuang Yin. She knew her young noble too well and was worried that his haughty attitude would provoke the War God Temple. It seemed like her worries were unnecessary. Li Kai sat in the camp, bored, while waiting for the underworld boats. Meanwhile, it was the first time Li Xuang Yin and Chen Bei Jiao went to the underworld ferry, and it was also their first time witnessing such a sight. They were curiously looking at the great powers from all over the world for there were truly too many of them at this place carrying coffins. At the same time, Li Xuang Yin and Chen Bei Jiao were also moved to see the treasure lords and earth immortals at the site. Even though the two didn't know their backgrounds, they were listening to Kai Yun a little bit earlier. All of them had heaven-frightening origins. Who would have thought that they would appear again at this place millions of years after their deaths? Is the Thousand Emperor Gate truly the amazing? Chen Bei Jiao especially took note of the last gate master from the Thousand Emperor Gate, and she couldn't help but ask Li Kai. It was indeed amazing. Li Kai looked at the last gate master from afar, and it reminded him of some old memories. He then added, four generations of immortal emperors through four continuous generations. It could be said to be one of the great marvels since the beginning of time. Elder Kai said that the Thousand Emperor Gate had the space scripture, one of the nine grand scripture. Is this the truth? Li Xuang Yin couldn't suppress her curiosity. She was only told by Kai Yun from earlier, and Kai Yun only heard it from some of the discussions from the great powers. Li Xuang Yin paid special attention to this when Kai Yun brought this up because she clearly knew that her physique law came from the physique scripture, one of the nine scriptures as well. Such a secret could only be known by them and forever buried in their minds. The space scripture and physique scripture were part of the nine grand scriptures. This was an object born before the heaven and earth, peerless for all of eternity. Even the heavens will secret laws, the highest achievement of immortal emperors, could not compare to them. Having cultivated the supreme void and perfection immortal physique, Li Xuang Yin naturally took interest in the legendary space scripture. Li Kai came back from his recollection and gently nodded, to be exact. They only obtained a small part of the space scripture. It would have been wondrous if they actually obtained the full space scripture, with their unbeatable power of that year. Maybe they could have even created an entire world. In that case, this world would not be the nine worlds, but rather, the ten worlds. But Elder Kai also said that the invincible thousand emperor gate was ended by Empress Hongtian. Just how powerful was Empress Hongtian? Chen Bei Jiao couldn't help but ask. Li Xuang Yin then replied, I have heard of legends relating to Empress Hongtian. Later on, people placed her on the same level as Immortal Emperor Zhao Heng. Immortal Emperor Zhao Heng was the first immortal emperor of the human race, and he was undefeated in his entire life. Even though he was not the very first immortal emperor, his brilliance dazzled all the ages. Since the beginning of time, there were many immortal emperors, but only he was undefeated. This was especially impressive due to his young age before shouldering the heaven's will. Perhaps mere words did not do his achievement justice. Placed on the same level as Immortal Emperor Zhao Heng. Chen Bei Jiao was quite astonished. In the hearts of many humans, Immortal Emperor Zhao Heng was the number one emperor. What kind of frightening existence was Empress Hongtian to be placed on the same level as him? Since the immemorial times, there were far more than just one female immortal emperor, but there was no other who could enjoy such a great reputation, Empress Hongtian. Hearing this name, Li Kai couldn't control himself from being stunned. There was once such a girl on a long and winding path of time. There was once an era when a dark crow carried this girl to far and far away places. There was once a dark crow under the brilliance of a supreme empress that secretly guided her to higher and higher aims. Unfortunately, because of a certain matter, the two of them went on separate paths in the end. Ultimately, they were as far from each other like the edges of the heavens.